Hi, I'm John. I'm an educator and product specialist at EduTrade. I'm going to be taking you through our learner chemistry kit, unpacking it and showing you a great lesson you can do with your class. Now the lesson I'm going to be showing you is a neutralization reaction. And instead of writing it up on the board and explaining how, what a neutralization reaction is, as you know, the best way to go about it is to get them intrigued create a real life situation, what problem for them to solve, and then work back to what is actually going on. So for this lesson, I've created a character called Bob. So I'm going to be using Bob to connect the learners with the lesson. And uh, to do that, I've created a problem situation for Bob. He has been eating up a storm. He's been having some pizza and hamburgers and soft drink, and now his stomach is really not feeling well. So then I'd ask the class, well, what's going on with Bob's tummy? Is he, is he, what is the situation? And some of the learners might say, um, oh, he's been eating too much, or oh, he, he had too much to drink. Um, but when I'm looking for, he's got indigestion. He's got some stomach acid or indigestion. And when they mention that code, that is exactly the situation that we're dealing with. And that's the problem we have to solve. So Bob's been eating too much. He's got indigestion. And the way we're going to, to connect the lesson now is vinegar is an acid and that's the kind of feeling that Bob's having. He's got that sort of acid feeling in his stomach and we're going to put some vinegar in the beaker representing Bob. At this point in time I then connect the learners with the lesson by going how are we going to solve the problem of Bob feeling like he's got that acid reflux right here at the top of his stomach and uh, I'm going to give them three different normal kitchen substances and they're going to have to solve which one of them is going to neutralize that stomach and make him feel a bit better. And uh, the way they're going to see that it's been neutralized is by using some universal indicator. So the learners will come up and collect. Uh, the substances I've got here is some sugar, some salt, and some bicarb. And then they'd also collect some vinegar with universal indicator mixed in. The universal indicator is this red color, uh, but it's going to change to a green color when it's neutral, and then to blue if it's gone to a basic solution. Leave that an angle so you can see it. They're then going to decant some of, the, some of that solution, or some of the vinegar, into the test tubes. You could even ask them to actually get three moles of vinegar to be specific if you'd like. I'm going to put a little bit more. Uh, always teaching them things as you go along like measuring uh, and any other skills they need to know. Right. And now they have an opportunity to try to solve the problem in the test tubes, neutralize the reaction, or neutralize the, the vinegar, and then they can apply it to Bob and actually try and neutralize the stomach. So, so once they've done that, they've achieved the outcome of the lesson really. So we're going to do that now. We've got a, our little funnel and the spoon and I'm going to take some of the sugar. You're not going to demonstrate this to the learners. They're going to try it out themselves. Just starting off with a little bit and then adding more to try and solve the problem. So let's start off with this one. We add some sugar to it and we're going to see if that's going to solve his stomach problems. Having more soft drink isn't going to help him. Having some sweets, not going to help him. It's still red. Add a little bit more, see if, if we add more, if that's going to change it. No, ah oh, man, he's still suffering. Okay, so let's try some of the salt. How's that going to solve Bob's issues? He's going to have some fries with some salt and vinegar, and vinegar, oh, more vinegar. Wow, now he's really suffering. Okay, that actually looks worse. I'm going to try some of this bicarb. And we start off with a little amount. And uh, oh wow, something's going on. What's going on in Bob's tummy? Look at that, and, and now the learners start to, to get interested, and they start to go, "Wow, look, look, Mr. Reed, look what's happening!" And we have some kind of reaction happening here between the vinegar and the bicarb. 
I'm just going to let that settle a little bit. And you can already see that the color is starting to change a little bit from uh, where we added the salt and the sugar. There you can see the vinegar is starting to change to a more peach color. So I'm going to add a little bit more bicarb in a second. Let's just give this chance to react. It's going yellow. Now, while the learners are busy with the experiments, don't use the time to go and prepare for the next lesson. Rather get in amongst the learners and see what they're doing. Listen to what they're saying. This will not only encourage the learners to uh, keep focused on the task, but it will also help you to better know what they're understanding and take them further in the lesson. Now that we've neutralized our acid, we can solve Bob's stomach problem because he's still suffering. So this can get a little bit messy. And if you want to make it a little bit ex more exciting, you can even just slip in some dishwashing liquid into the vinegar and it will really bubble up. But we're going to take our uh, bicarb and just like uh, an Eno or Rennie's will solve a stomach acid problem, we're going to slowly change this acid into a neutral solution. Here it goes. If you add quite a lot now, it's going to bubble right out. Which it probably will. It's fine to make a mess, it's just bicarbonate vinegar. Now that we've solved Bob's problem and his stomach is feeling a bit better, we can apply what we've seen in this experiment looking at a neutralization of an acid with a base. Maybe write down something from the board, look at the textbook, and uh, the learners have now got a, a real concrete experience that they can refer back to in their minds. I hope you've enjoyed going through this lesson with me, and don't forget to look at our, our blog and our website for more great resources. Happy teaching. Mm -hmm.